Everything in our family's life was going well. However, a new person started living with us. We greeted her with warm arms at first, but she quickly brought with her a tempest of chaos and treachery that I never could have predicted. Greetings, I am Faith. I'm 34 years old and have a flourishing Chicago event organizing company. I've always spent my life making sure every little thing is ideal, preparing corporate events and arranging weddings. However, my younger brother David was always the one constant in my life, regardless of how stressful things were at work. We have always shared a close bond. We always made time for each other despite our hectic work. David, who is 30 years old, owns his own marketing company. Our family was the closest you could imagine when we were kids. Our folks are currently retired and living a peaceful, contented retirement. David and I have always taken to heart that they instilled in us the values of loyalty and support. The events of last year were all the more shocking because we had each other's backs and discussed everything. When David introduced us to Mia, it all began. It's clearly in my memory. One evening, David called me. Faith, you won't believe it. He was so excited. I've got a new friend. Mia is her name, and I believe she is the one. I was ecstatic for him. Since David and I have always been transparent about our lives, I was pleased to think that he had found someone special. I recall being a little curious and excited when he asked Mia to a family dinner. Mia was enchanting and captivating as soon as she entered. She appeared to blend in perfectly with our family at first glance. Weeks later, Mia was a constant presence at our family get-togethers. Everything seemed fine on the surface. Mia was always grinning, engaging in courteous conversation with everyone. However, I began to notice odd small occurrences. She used to say these delicate, passive-aggressive things that were always tinged with sweetness, but critical nonetheless. For example, she smiled and said, Oh, Faith, still working those late nights? At a family supper, you'll eventually discover balance, so don't worry. I attempted to dismiss it, reasoning that perhaps I was just being too sensitive. However, the remarks did not stop. They were small jabs at my lifestyle, my profession, and even my decisions. I convinced myself it will pass. After all, our parents seemed to like Mia, and David was utterly enamored with her. David was further influenced by Mia as time went by. He grew increasingly reclusive and appeared to rely entirely on Mia's judgment. It seemed like David, who had once been self-assured and self-reliant, was gradually changing into a different person and turning away from his family. He began supporting Mia in every fight, and I observed that it was becoming more difficult to have a meaningful conversation with him without Mia's shadow hanging over us. Family dinners grew more and more tense. Mia's comments have become more pointed and blatant, no longer merely passive-aggressive. I made an effort to keep the peace at initially but it was getting harder and harder. As I noticed how David appeared to be changing, becoming quieter and more aloof, my uneasiness increased. The strain reached a breaking point one evening. Our parents' house was the venue for our family supper. Everyone was having a great conversation around the set table, with the exception of Mia and me. Throughout the dinner, she had been making crude jokes, and I could feel my own resentment mounting. Then, without warning, Mia leveled a grave charge. Abruptly, her face flushed with outrage. She stood up. I have to talk to you, Faith. My wallet has been absent from me. It contained multiple credit cards and $10,000 in cash. I have good cause to think you stole it and have been making unauthorized purchases using my credit cards. The space became quiet. I was surprised to see all of eyes on me. That's untrue, Mia. Nothing has been taken from you by me, I objected. Mia nevertheless wasn't done. She grabbed up a glass of water and hurled it at me in a dramatic motion. I felt the shame spreading across my cheeks as the frigid water doused me. David and my parents watched in shock. David seemed confused 
as if he couldn't decide who he should support, his sister or his wife. I made an effort to explain myself, but Mia's charges were like a storm, muffled my words. My dear, I would never do anything like that. You are more familiar with me than this, I murmured, trying not to lose my cool. With his gaze flitting between Mia and me, David found himself in the center. His voice trailed off into perplexity as he questioned, Faith, is there something you want to tell us? I felt a mixture of despair and rage as I said, I don't know what's going on here, but I swear I didn't steal anything. After the chaotic finish to the supper, I felt alone and ashamed. I was still feeling unfairly treated and betrayed after the supper. I told Lily, my closest friend, everything. I'm not sure what's going on, but Mia seems to be planning something. She accused me in such a way, and I find it unbelievable. Lily paid close attention. I've observed Mia's behavior toward you. It is incorrect. There might be more to her than what first meets the eye, so perhaps we should investigate. At that point, I made up my mind to learn the truth about Mia. I was determined to find the cause of the problem, wherever it would go, since I knew something wasn't right. I couldn't just fold my hands and let it go after that embarrassing supper. Mia had really shocked me with her accusation. I was aware that in order to cleanse my name and keep my family safe, I needed to learn the truth about her. I contacted Lily since she had always been a reassuring voice and a source of support in my life. The next day, when we got together for coffee, I told Lily that I needed your help. Something's seriously wrong with Mia, and I can't shake the feeling that she's hiding something. Lily's worried eyes became wider. What happened? I recounted the events from the dinner, the accusations, the water thrown in my face, and David's torn expression. I just can't believe David's wife would accuse me of something so terrible without any proof. Lily nodded thoughtfully. We need to look into Mia's background. There has to be something we can find that explains her behavior. I agreed, and we decided to start digging. The first step was to learn more about Mia's past. Lily suggested reaching out to people who might know more about her. I remembered Mia mentioning her previous job at a marketing firm before she met David. Maybe someone from her old job might know something, Lily said. That's when we contacted Olivia, a former co-worker of Mia's. Olivia had left the firm a few months before Mia, and Lily was able to track her down. We arranged to meet her at a quiet cafe. Olivia was hesitant at first, but agreed to talk once she realized we were genuinely concerned. When we met, Olivia looked nervous but determined. I don't know if this will help, but Mia wasn't exactly well-liked at the firm, Olivia began. She was known for being manipulative and deceitful. There were rumors about her getting involved in some shady activities, but nothing was ever proven. I listened intently, feeling a mix of dread and curiosity. What kind of activities are we talking about? Olivia hesitated before continuing. There were incidents where money went missing, and Mia was always at the center of those situations. I'm not saying she's guilty, but it's strange how things seemed to disappear whenever she was around. She also had a tendency to pit people against each other. I wouldn't be surprised if she's up to something now. Her words sent chills down my spine. I knew I needed more concrete information, so Lily and I decided to hire a private investigator. I contacted a reputable firm in Chicago, and they agreed to take on the case. We provided them with as much information as we had about Mia, including her previous job and any connections she might have. The private investigator, Mark, was thorough and professional. He promised to keep us updated and began his work immediately. As days passed, the tension was unbearable. Every time my phone rang, my heart skipped a beat, hoping for news. Then one afternoon, Mark called with some shocking revelations. Faith, I have some information you need to hear. Mia has been using multiple aliases and has a history of fraud. My heart raced. What do you mean? 
Mark explained that Mia was not who she claimed to be. She had used different names to open various accounts and had been involved in several fraudulent activities. Most alarming was her involvement in money laundering. The amount she had funneled through various schemes added up to over $500,000. I could hardly believe what I was hearing. This is unbelievable. How has she managed to stay under the radar for so long? Mark sighed. She's very good at covering her tracks, but the evidence we've gathered shows a clear pattern of deceit. She's been manipulating people to keep her schemes running smoothly. The news was devastating. I had suspected Mia was trouble, but I never imagined she was capable of such large-scale fraud. My main concern now was how to approach David with this information. I knew he would be devastated, and I was torn between wanting to protect him and fearing that exposing Mia might drive him further away. I decided to confront Mia directly. I called David and asked him to meet at a neutral location, one where we could talk without interruptions. David arrived, looking anxious, and I could see the concern in his eyes. David, I need to talk to you about Mia, I started, my voice trembling. I found out some disturbing information. David's face fell. What do you mean? What's going on? I took a deep breath and tried to explain everything we had discovered about Mia's fraudulent activities and her history of deceit. I showed him some of the evidence we had gathered, including statements from Olivia and documents from the private investigator. David looked overwhelmed. Faith, I don't know what to say. This is all so much to take in. I could see the pain in his eyes, and it broke my heart. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but I couldn't let you be deceived any longer. Mia has been manipulating all of us, and it's time we face the truth. David's expression was a mix of disbelief and anger. How could I have been so blind? I trusted her completely. I put a comforting hand on his shoulder. We'll get through this. We have to act quickly to protect you and your business from any further damage. We both knew that the road ahead would be challenging. The revelations about Mia were just the beginning. And I was determined to help David confront the situation head on, no matter how difficult it would be. The days after my confrontation with David were a whirlwind of anxiety and heartbreak. He had taken the evidence seriously, but the emotional toll was evident. David's disbelief and anger were palpable as he grappled with the betrayal of someone he had once loved and trusted implicitly. Meanwhile, I was determined to see this through, no matter how painful it was for all of us. David and I decided to act quickly. We knew that Mia's fraudulent activities could have dire consequences for his business and our family's reputation. To get to the bottom of things, we needed to expose Mia for who she truly was and stop her before she could cause any more damage. The first step was to organize a family meeting. I felt a knot in my stomach as I prepared for what was about to unfold. David and I agreed that confronting Mia in front of the family would be the best way to reveal the truth and hold her accountable. We hoped that once the family saw the evidence, they would understand why David and I were taking such drastic measures. The meeting was set for a Saturday afternoon, and I could hardly contain my nerves. I knew this would be a pivotal moment, and the stakes were incredibly high. I asked Lily to join us for support. Her presence would provide a sense of solidarity and reassurance. When the day arrived, the atmosphere was tense. We gathered in the living room of our family home, which had always been a place of comfort and warmth. Now it felt like the stage for an impending storm. My parents, David and Mia, were all seated, looking puzzled by the unusual seriousness of the meeting. Mia, David, thank you for coming, I began, trying to keep my voice steady. There's something important we need to discuss. David took a deep breath. I've discovered some troubling information about Mia. I need to show everyone what we found. Mia's face tightened with apprehension, though she tried to maintain a calm demeanor. 
What's this about David? Why are we having this meeting? Before David could respond, I stepped forward and placed the pile of documents and evidence on the coffee table. These are records and testimonies from a private investigator. They reveal a lot about Mia's past and her current activities. I saw Mia's eyes widen as David began to go through the documents. As he explained Mia's history of deceit, including her use of aliases and involvement in fraudulent schemes, the room grew quieter. My parents, who had always trusted Mia and welcomed her into the family, looked increasingly distressed. Mia has been using multiple names to commit fraud, David said, his voice strained. She's involved in money laundering that has affected my business, and it's estimated to be over $500,000. My parents exchanged worried glances, struggling to process the gravity of the situation. Is this true, Mia? My mother asked, her voice trembling. Mia's facade began to crack. She looked around, trying to maintain her composure, but the weight of the evidence was undeniable. David, Faith, you don't understand. This is all a misunderstanding. David's eyes were filled with hurt. How could this be a misunderstanding? We have proof of your crimes. You've been manipulating us all. Mia's calm demeanor shattered. You're all fools. You think you can just throw me away like this? I've worked hard to build my life. You've ruined everything. In a fit of rage, Mia grabbed a glass of water from the table and threw it at me, soaking my clothes in the documents. The dramatic outburst left everyone in shock. My father stood up, his face flushed with anger. How dare you accuse Faith and throw water at her? You have no right to treat our family like this. Mia's outburst was a desperate attempt to deflect attention from her guilt. I don't need to stay here and be accused. You can all believe whatever lies you want. Just as Mia was about to leave, the sound of sirens pierced the tension in the room. The police arrived, responding to a tip-off about Mia's fraudulent activities. I had anticipated that Mia might try to flee, so I had discreetly contacted law enforcement, hoping they would arrive in time. The police officers entered the room and began to question Mia. They had a warrant based on the evidence we provided, and Mia's attempts to deny the charges only added to her desperation. As the officers escorted her out, she continued to protest, but the evidence against her was overwhelming. David, still in shock, looked at me with a mix of gratitude and sorrow. I can't believe this is happening. I never thought Mia would be capable of something like this. I placed a reassuring hand on his shoulder. We had to do what was necessary to protect you and our family. It was the right thing to do. As Mia was taken away, I could see the toll the situation had taken on David. He was devastated, and I knew that the road to recovery would be long. But at least the truth was out, and the manipulative shadow Mia had cast over our lives was finally being lifted. The family meeting had been a turning point but it was far from the end of our troubles. We had to navigate the aftermath of the scandal and support David as he worked to rebuild his business and process the betrayal. For now, all we could do was face the challenges ahead, knowing that the truth had come to light and that we had taken a stand for justice. The aftermath of Mia's arrest was a whirlwind of emotions and challenges for David and me. The shock of discovering Mia's true nature was still fresh, and the process of recovering from her deceit felt overwhelming. It was a time of intense reflection and difficult decisions. David was confronted with a storm of legal and financial problems in the weeks that followed Mia's incarceration. Her deception not only damaged his company's reputation, but also placed its survival in jeopardy. He put in a lot of effort to sort through the chaos Mia had left behind with the support of his legal staff. David was frequently observed buried beneath mountains of paperwork and financial reports due to the extreme stress. I stuck at David's side, encouraging him and guiding him through the difficulties. Our family got together because we wanted to support David in his healing and reconstruction. 
Despite being rattled, my parents remained resolute in providing their unwavering support. They constantly reassured David that he wasn't alone and that our family will go through these difficulties together. My loyal buddy Lily continued to be an essential component of our support system. She was a huge help in obtaining and organizing evidence and in helping me deal with the emotional burden. Her commitment and support were crucial in helping me stay grounded and focused. David had several challenges on his road to rehabilitation. His business suffered significant harm from the protracted and exhausting court fights. But he was determined to fight back and save the good name of his organization. To make sure that me as accomplices, if any, were likewise held accountable, he collaborated with law enforcement and asked for assistance from financial specialists. David started to notice some improvement as the weeks grew into months. With the help of his devoted team and encouraging clientele, the company began to gradually rebound. Although the journey was drawn out and difficult, David's tenacity and resolve started to pay off. Mia's legal problems persisted in the interim. The shocking circumstances of her deception were eagerly covered by the media during her highly publicized trial. The drama in the courtroom developed as victim testimony, including Olivia's, were given. Mia's efforts to rewrite and twist the story failed in the face of overwhelming evidence. To guarantee that justice was carried out, the legal system put forth great effort. In an attempt to find justice and closure, David and I went to the trial. Witnessing Mia's behavior in court was both disconcerting and reassuring. She had been living a lie for a long time, as her conceit and disdain for the truth were made quite evident. Mia was found guilty of several charges of fraud and given a lengthy prison sentence when the verdict was finally rendered. For us, the judge's ruling was a bittersweet moment. Even though it was partially just, her actions would leave long-lasting wounds. After Mia's conviction, our family started the long journey of healing in the months that followed. Although the event had put our relationship to the test, it had also strengthened it. David put a lot of effort into fixing his company and winning back the confidence of his partners and customers. Even if it wasn't simple, every little triumph was a step closer to healing. Additionally, David started talking more freely about his emotions and the fallout from Mia's treachery. In order to deal with his emotions and overcome his feelings of shame and rage, he went to therapy. I was there for him at every turn on this difficult but necessary trip. For my part, I took comfort in the knowledge that I had defended my family and stood up for what was right. The experience had been a severe test of our fidelity and fortitude, but it had also imparted to us the value of tenacity and trust. I discovered that while facing hard facts was not always pleasant, doing so was essential to maintaining our family's integrity. After a period of tension and strain, our family get-togethers gradually became more relaxed. Despite the wounds from the past still visible, we decided to concentrate on the future and the strength we had discovered in one another. We treasured the times we spent together, which had grown even more valuable, and we rejoiced in little wins. As I thought back on this trip, I saw that even though it had been difficult, it had given us priceless lessons. We gained knowledge about the value of alertness, the strength of the truth, and the enduring unity of family. We overcame the difficulties and came out stronger and closer as a team. I am reminded as I reflect on these incidents of the human spirit's tenacity and the strength of standing up for what is right. Our family's tale serves as a monument to the resilience of love and commitment in the face of difficulty. We have overcome our worst times and come out on the other side, prepared to confront the future with optimism and tenacity. The tale of Mia's deceit and the ensuing road to recovery and reconstruction serves as a potent reminder that, even in the most trying circumstances, family ties and the quest of justice can pave the way for a more promising and resilient future.